All right, well, Phil, it's uh, it's fight week, um, so, so first of all, tell us how the weight cut's going for you at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's spot on. Um, I could probably make weight today, so yeah, everything's exactly to plan for my weight. No trouble at all. You feel like Superman? Yeah, that's, that's why I got the hat. Oh, well, let's go back a little bit. Obviously, um, you, you're coming off a loss. It didn't go you know, your way um, in Manchester. Have you done anything different in your camp in preparation for this fight compared to the last one? Um, basically, I didn't get a chance to put my game plan together with my last fight. Um, I had a bit of a slow start and it cost me the fight. So this time we've been working my game plan and just put my game plan to, into action sooner rather than later this time. Okay, and obviously you've brought in Davy Grant um, in, in camp uh, for this occasion. Um, can you tell us why you decided to bring in Davy and train with him in this camp? Um, Davy fought one of our guys a few years ago on a smaller show, um, and we knew he was a great guy. He's in, got in the UFC. We're both fighting the same date, only one weight apart. Just makes sense to uh, train together and get get both his like the best out of each other and uh, like say because we're fighting on the same day it just makes sense has that made it easier that you've got someone to go through the weight cut process with and and the whole media for the event uh, I mean I've got I've got a lot of guys at our gym all, all training and for fights around the same sort of time the gym's full of guys always fighting so I mean having David down is great but like say we've got a lot of guys doing the same thing anyway yeah. And can you just talk about, as an Englishman, what it's going to feel like for you to obviously be fighting in the O2 Arena, which is the most prestigious kind of arena to fight in in the UK? Yeah, I mean, I've done a few, I've done a few now, like Wembley, and the, but fighting at the O2 is going to be even bigger again. So, and I'm the first fight on, so that's going to be like, uh, for me, it's perfect because I know exactly what time I'm on, and it's just opening the show at the O2 is is quite a big thing. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. What were your first thoughts when you heard about your next opponent? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's probably it's a good fight for me. I think I, I'm happy. I was happy with the opponent. Um, yeah, and also he's beat the guy I just lost to, so it sort of beat this guy. It it helps with that loss sort of thing. So uh, yeah, this is a fight I pretty much wanted. How do you think your stars are going to match up on Saturday? Yeah, stylistically, if you if you went back ten years, you could say maybe a oh, karate guy versus a judo guy or striker grappler. But nowadays, by the time you get to UFC, you, you're not one-dimensional. So style-wise, it's just going to be every, like it's going to be even as such sort of thing. And how do you see the fight panning out on Saturday? Uh, I can see me getting a sub maybe in the second or third round, but I mean I'll, I'll take a knockout as well. Have you got a lot of support coming down to see you? Yeah, there's a lot of guys come down from the gym and from Portsmouth and friends. So yeah, it's going to be a going to be a good turnout. You're facing Lewis Godin, uh, and you have uh, I think about three times as many fights as he has. Do you see experience being a big difference in this fight? Um, by the time you get to UFC, yeah, fight-wise, I've had more experience, but he's probably had amateur fights, wrestling fights, karate fights. So he might not have had as many fights in a cage, but he's probably had just as many or a lot of fights in rings and on mats sort of thing so if by the time you get here he, he's obviously going to be just as experienced as me it's just on record it looks like I'm a lot more experienced that's that's what I'd say probably. So what would you think say that your biggest advantage is in this fight? Um, I'd say my, my, my grappling is going to be the the part that's going to going to see me uh, take control in this fight. And he spent some time with the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, people got to see how he trains and how he worked uh, during that time. Have you watched his uh, that season, the Ultimate Fighter? Uh, I'll see it when it come out because um, it is uh, Team Bisping, which is obviously another English guy, um, <coughs> and he was Bisping's first pick. So it'd be it'd be good to beat him. And he and he beat also beat Paul McVay, who I fought before as well. Uh -huh. So that's another guy he's beaten. I've lost to. So beating Lewis is quite a big deal for me. Yeah. And uh, he has, has, he sometimes has a bit of style that uh, leaves himself open for attack, uh, a bit more of a uh, crowd-friendly style. Uh, when, if that presents itself, do you see yourself going for a quick finish, or do you want to maybe get into a brawl for the hometown crowd? I'd n I'll be, I'll be looking to finish from from the word go. If if there's a finish there, I'll be taking it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I guess that's the right the mentality to go. And uh, I just have to ask as well. First fight out, you were the first fight out in uh, the UFC on Fuel 7, you won a fight. Now your first fight out again, and under sort of similar circumstances coming from a loss. Do you see any like superstitious things? Do you think about sort of these things, fighting first, you know, certain circumstances lining up? 
Uh, not. I, I don't look into it like superstitious, but I just look into it. I, I'm happy that I'm first fight out. I, like, I'm really pleased that I'm opening the show. Um, it's London. I've always performed well in London. So all them things, although I'm not superstitious or nothing, it's it's nice to have them feelings rather than oh last time I, I lost in London. No, like I'm thinking last time I won in London. So it's just g good feelings, good vibes. So yeah, that that always helps. Um, we saw you downstairs, I saw you downstairs actually, uh, and obviously you're very cordial um, with Louis. Um, does that make it a little bit harder or, or, or easier in terms of when you've got you know, maybe a personal beef with a fighter or, or if it's kind of easy to fight them and get motivated to fight them? Um, for me, not really. I, it's the same motivation. I've fought like, over 30 times now. Um, some people like, talk a little bit more maybe on Twitter or whatever, but um, for me it's, it's business. Whoever I fight, is, I'm in there to do the fight and if, if they want to talk or whatever and make a bit more of a do you know, thing of it, it's, that's okay for me but um, yeah, I just see it as another day at the office almost. Have you had anyone uh, maybe imitate his hairstyle in the gym at all with maybe some green dye or something? No, no, not yet, no, no. Fair enough. Alright, well, thank you very much for your time, much appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks.